Uh, okay, let me try again. Hmm. Got everything set up. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Okay. Hello, my friends, and thank you for joining me again. This is Greg, the floating head, and uh, this is my channel where I make music and I make FPV content and video content, and I share it with you. I share my findings. I share my experiments. Uh, you know the ups and downs, so to speak, and just sort of trying to get better at the the storytelling process, and also just getting better at doing something over and over again to to the point where you actually get like kind of good at it just to catch you up uh i know that the last time i uploaded was a very long time ago uh since before the new year my laptop died the logic board just went plunk uh so i had to get that repaired and during that time my best friend mike shane came to visit me and stayed with me for a couple of weeks and it was a beautiful reunion. I was, I was so happy to see him because I haven't seen him or any of my friends for that matter for the last like year and a half, you know? So this was quite a joyous experience, you know, seeing a good friend that, you know, you've been you've been good friends for a long time. You, you understand each other. Rolling and a flying and the rolling and the flying. Perfect. You kind of, we, we were roommates. We were like friends since high school. It's, you know, long, long, beautiful relationship. While he was here, we managed to film him skating. So I've had this concept in my head. Even before I got into FPV drones, Mike picked up a pair of roller skates again, and he was back at it, like, like no time changed, you know? And I was just so amazed by it and so happy for him because I think as you get older, you should find things that bring you joy and bring that into your life whether that's stuff from your childhood and like a like a more wholesome way long story short he got back into skating i loved his zeal and passion for it and i needed to document it and at the time uh when i first came up with the idea like all i had was a mavic air 2 and i wanted to do epic chase footage with a mavic air 2 and we did like an experiment where i chased him around while he was on foot not on skates and it was just, the, the results were just silly because I was trying to do like FPV drone maneuvers with a Mavic Air, not a Mavic Air 2, I'm sorry, the first generation Mavic Air. So that didn't work out so great, but the bug and like the idea was still swirling around in my head. And I was like, listen, dude, next time you come visit your dad in Florida, stop by. Like I've been putting in work on this FPV stuff and I really want to apply it to like like a cool subject, you know? So he, of course, he was down, he's stoked. He is a professional photographer and a videographer. So he understands and you get like a little vision in your mind, you gotta get it out. Otherwise it's gonna kind of gnaw away at you, you know? So that was very cool of him. Um, he was a perfect subject cause he's so bright and energetic and almost kind of like the opposite of like how I am, so to speak, you know, I'm, I'm a little more quiet, a little more reserved. He's the more boisterous one. And I feel like the two of us have this yin yang sort of combo, you know? So he came to Florida, he came to visit. We had about two weeks to film in between like being the responsible dad, having, you know, my son with me, a wave of client work came in, like literally like right before midnight of, New Year's Eve, so I had to take care of that at the same time as um, everything else, you know? But it was a very fun experience. I feel like I've learned so much about flying FPV even within the last two weeks than I have in the last year because actually working with a human subject, somebody who you have to, you know, essentially look good, makes them look good and also make the footage look good and I feel like I learned a lot and I want to share that with you guys. I'm, I'm going to show a quick preview right now of what I'm working on for this edit. I want to, essentially it's like a, like a little mini doc, you know, uh, and it's a little profile on my friend, which includes a lot of FPV footage, a lot of handheld cam footage on my GH5. My cat is A7R2. So we, between us, we have so much B-roll, we have hours and hours and hours of B-roll. So I have to essentially cut this down to 
I don't know. Um, I want it to be like a 20 minute thing because I have more than enough footage for like a 20 minute thing. But I don't think anyone's going to sit through a 20 minute thing. Maybe they will. Maybe I'll make a shorter version and a longer version. But either way, here's the preview. Enjoy. Uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. If you're stoked on it, if you don't care, whatever. Um, I started to rollerblade in the year 1995 when I was 13 years old and for the next six years I think I missed about 10 days. I'm pretty sure that my first kiss was on rollerblades and she was on rollerblades. We were in the parking lot of a Catholic school. I get my I get my exercise, I get enjoyment, I get well, joy. And uh, there's just nothing like the feeling of being in perpetual motion. dance-like symbiotic relationship where my feet and my brain know what to do and my desire to film something will ask my brain hey film that my brain asks my feet and my feet bring me there I don't really have to think about it it's become instinctual it's become a reflex that my feet and my vision are now integrated and I am a human camera dog. I am genuinely pretty ecstatic when I'm roller skating. I love it. There's this little area of my brain that gets flooded with the happy chemicals, serotonin, dopamine, Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little trailer, I guess. Uh, still a lot, a lot of work to be done. I'm actually, like, composing a freaking soundtrack to it as well. So there's going to be song songs that are going to come out with the video. And I want to do this before a certain date. I've been cutting away at it, but also kind of having to do... This is like a passion project. This isn't, like, paid or anything. I still have client work to do. I still have family stuff to take care of, so... I'm using whatever moment I have to edit this and compose the music at the same time. It's a really weird process, but I like it. I like having like a billion things swirling around. It feels like you're a wizard, like, oh, this clip would go good with this melody and da 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 da, you know, and like this color scheme and like visual representation and all that stuff. I love it. Anyway, so I just wanted to go over the platform that I used filming that. And majority of the shots were done with the Cinesplore, the FPV Cycle Cinesplore. I'm gonna show some B-roll as I flip it around in front of my face. So this particular build, I have two of them. This this one is just a regular old Cinesplore build with the front-facing GoPro camera at a 10 degree angle. And I have one that's a rear-facing, so the FPV camera's in the front and the, the GoPro's in the back, and the person chases, chases the drone. Um, so I'll talk about the, the first one here. This is just a analog build. Um, if you don't know what an FPV drone is or what a CineWhoop is or what a CineSplore is, highly recommend uh, checking out some Facebook groups. There's 
Sunil Whoopers, there's uh, FPV Cycle Kebab FPV. Uh, those are all really good Facebook groups for like learning about like FPV drones and like sort of like where I, where the field that I really enjoy is like this, uh, you know, like cinematic style storytelling using this little drone that doesn't have any sensors, doesn't have a GPS. You fully manually control it. And you can kind of almost make it do anything you want. So you can fly through little gaps in trees and, you know, like really get creative with your camera angles and your moves. And it's just so fun, so rewarding, everything. So the Cinesplor, FPV Cycle Cinesplor, uh, definitely my top Cinewhoop, my only second Cinewhoop I've ever had. There's tons of options out there, but this is the one that I built from scratch buying the parts from you know the the distributor or whatever the fpv cycle and all that stuff but like another good cinewhoop good starter cinewhoop i would highly recommend is jack's 3d printing splash and it's a little heavier but it's also much more forgiving in crashes and lasts like a lasted me a really long time uh, i dunked one in the water i lost one in the water i got another one and uh yeah it's just Fantastic, fantastic Cinewhoop. But for me, right now, this is doing all the things that I wanted to do and I'm so happy with it. So I'll go over like the, the, the specs, so to speak. Like, I guess the key component here is the drivetrain, which is the FPV Cycle 2203 slash 2204 motors. Um, they just have some magic dust in them or something because um, these are the best motors I've used in my like one and a half year journey of FPV and trying to find like a nice platform that's safe around people. So you have the ducts. So if it bumps into somebody, the, 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 the propellers won't, won't cut them up. And it's just the, the, the aerodynamics and like low center of gravity on this Cinewhoop make it very fun to fly because I think a lot of uh, Cinewhoop build style drones, the three inch propeller Cinewhoops, have a bit of an issue when it comes to weight distribution and uh, power delivery. If you want to do cool flips and maneuvers or fly slow, you kind of have to trade one or the other. Uh, but for this, I've, I've, I can do kind of acrobatic maneuvers and I can still fly slowly and confidently. Um, and it just feels like great. It feels like a good handling car, if that makes sense, you know? So. It's yeah, it's an amazing platform. I use a GoPro eight uh, for for the the footage that you you saw in the in the trailer. Uh, I use the Gemfan seventy five millimeter props on this one, tri blade props. Um, so yeah, that's that's the that's the A cam so to speak, the A A Cinewhoop. This is the B Cinewhoop, which is <laughs> my little Frankenstein's uh, thing, you know, because. It's again, this is a Sin Explorer. It's using uh, the older ducts that come with the Reptile 149 cl uh, Reptile Cloud 149 frame. So the, the ducts are super tough and uh, but they're not as agile or like little there's a little less like wind resistance, a little less propeller efficiency with these sort of taller ducts. But for this particular purpose of the person or the subject chasing the drone, I, I wasn't really looking for like crazy maneuverability or, you know, like sort of like this one. This one is quick and sprightly and can kind of do, you know, turn on a dime. This one's a little more just because of the awkward weight distribution. The GoPro is in the back. It causes it to bobble a little bit, you know. So this was really cool. This was really fun. Um, I used Brain 3D to have them print out just the regular GoPro style mount, but something that I could adjust on because I needed I needed something to hold the ND filters. Uh, that's the one downside of the GoPro 8 is that it doesn't have the twist on lens like a the GoPro 9 or a 7 or a 6. So you have to use neutral density filters that are made by uh, TBS or Ethics or Camera Butter. So I use a TBS. ND filters, I slide them into the side, I don't know, just to focus, slide them into the side and, you know, it, it, it does a job and it helps me open up the shutter a little longer and get the sort of cinematic effect and not be overexposed. And this thing flew great. 
Had, this one has the newer motors, the new 2204 FPV cycle motors. These has a 2203. Honestly, did not notice much of a difference since they already fly amazingly. Like, I don't, I have no complaints or, I don't know. It's like nothing to base these things off of. So these two Cine Whoops did the job and they did a fantastic job. The other gear that I used in, in this shoot, and I'll probably maybe make it behind the scenes if there's enough interest, where I do have a ton of B-roll, I have a ton of us just putzing around making jokes and, <laughs> you know, like just having a good time. Um, but yeah, I, otherwise I used uh, my GH5, which is filming me right now. It's, I've had this camera for almost five years now, and it's a fantastic camera. Uh, holding up, uh, it's, it's got like salt water damage around the the lens thing and it still just works amazingly i don't know it's just amazing um a7r2 uh which was mike's camera and i used the mavic air 2 to get some of the sort of more like uh steady slower shots that are uh had in mind you know and i, I was it was is kind of my uh kind of new to using the mavic air 2 so i was also using the um the, the 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 subject tracking so i was i was very curious about that and that's a very cool thing that i would love to explore some more so it was an amazing experience i'm really excited to finish this dang video so i can go back because i have not flown any of my drones since i filmed with mike uh like almost three four weeks ago now i usually on my days off, I try to fly every day and just like try to get better and get find cool spots and film. And I kind of I feel like I'm it had my it had hit my limit and I'm starting to get the itch back to go flying again. So I'm excited to get out there and freestyle with the five inch freestyle drone build, do more cinematic shots. I have a couple of clients that are interested in doing some fl store fly-throughs with the Cinewhoop. Uh, hopefully I'll share my process with that. I'm much more, more music coming out. Uh, but if you want to download any beats, they are not content ID'd. So you're not going to get flagged by YouTube or whatever. I'm making these beats for creators to use, you know, so you're a YouTube creator or if you're an FPV guy who uses music for their video edits but keeps getting flagged, go to my Bandcamp. I have a bunch of stuff there to download for free. I have a couple of paid things. Uh, I would appreciate the support. You know, drop a like, drop some money in the Bandcamp. Uh, yeah, like uh, I'm, uh, I got I got Bob Rugi's using my beats. I'm, I'm happy to see that, and I pre appreciate the, the hookup on the 2204 motors. Bobby Rock. Um, yeah, just udachi.bandcamp.com. That's my that's my music. This is my YouTube. I have an Instagram with uh, I don't really update it, but I should. Uh, more than happy to answer any DMs, any questions, comments. Blah 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 blah. Thank you people, you wonderful people of the internet, every viewer, even if you're not a drone electronic music person, thank you for watching. Love you.